Hey, it's Empress Jennifer again on uh, November 15, 2024. And I believe the time where I am is 8.01 p.m. Anyway, I want to, there was just something on my heart to speak to the masses. Um, I know some people think that living for and with the most high is difficult. And um, sometimes and, and <laughs> Christian or that long time scare you kind of like uh, make sure you say, oh I don't know if I'm ready for that right now because I want to do this or that. But as I, as I see it and as I have read in the Bible and speaking with the Creator for myself, I believe that if you are re- responsible, not doing wild things that's going temple belongs to the Lord. Um, and um, of course we know that maybe a little wine if you drink responsibly um, responsibly uh, being a or doing it outrageously um I just feel like I, I, I mean, I do eat sweets, I guess, <laughs> but, um, and I'm not advocating drugs at all <laughs> because that puts you in a different frame mind, frame of mind. And if you drink too much, that also can put you in a different frame of mind. But I believe if you have friends or you have a partner or you have a spouse and you all decide to go to somewhere that's a responsible place, not somewhere you go in there and you might get shot or a fight might break out of and you just want to hear some nice classical music or whatever, eat a meal, uh, take your spouse dancing, there is nothing wrong with that. You are enjoying the fruits of your labor, meaning you are enjoying the activities on the earth that um, are not you know, harming anyone else, especially your temple. Your temple, be responsible with it because your temple is like your livelihood. So if your um irresponsible with it you might find death earlier than you would ordinarily find it you know and like if you commit um crimes you that's that's a death because you will end up in a place like prison or jail and that's not a fun place so you have to be responsible in all things. Um, and I, I do, you know, want to say too, <sighs> sex, sex is sacred. I, I, I do believe that. Um, and so... A woman should really, really be particular with whom she shares herself with. Um, and you really should know where, where the relationship is going, what it is, because it's it's too much out here, man. It, it diseases. Mm 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 mm. I don't like diseases. I don't think anyone really does. But 
you really do need to know who you're dealing with, what you're dealing with, what your intentions are, and that kind of stuff. Because uh, once you get a disease or an incurable disease, that kind of lessen um, puts your value down. It is like you know, when they uh, made sacrifices, they didn't go get a bruised animal. They went and got one that's a fat, fatty cat, cat, cattle. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with my voice. But um, they go get the finest cattle or the prettiest one to sacrifice unto the Lord. They don't go get anything. So, you know, in saying that, I mean, if you go out here dipping and dabbling and don't know what's happening, and trust you me, I've been there, done that, but by the grace of the Most High, I am very fortunate. However, some of us will not be fortunate and so therefore I just advise you to be very particular because you do pick up other things besides an actual STD you pick up a person's personality you pick up what whoever else they have been sleeping with so um you know you just have to be very careful and and like me now, I, I want, I would definitely have to have something that's uh, long-term. Because like I said, I ain't, I'm not with diseases. I'm not with sharing. Uh, no, I don't think so. To me, that's like vomit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the way I think of it. Um, and as I speak on that, I, I know that in the Bible says something about adultery. Um, and, and you know, one man to one woman. So I, 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 I'm trying to be f- fair because I know some people do not wait until they are married. And I, I'm trying to see if I seen something in the Word of God about that. Um, that's why I say it's very important that you know where the relationship is going. And yeah, it's better to perhaps um, wait for uh, that or just know if you're going to be in that relationship long term because I know that there is common law marriages so you know you just have to be be very careful who you with and um, due to my past experiences I am learning as well or have learned due to past experiences so again young people uh, in y'all youthfulness please make wise choices the first time and um, if you separate from that person uh, they still will have some dignity about themselves and not try to harm you in any way, shape, or form. And you all will be able to split amicably. That's why I say you make sure you know that personality because um, getting with the wrong person can be very detrimental. And I'm learning that through all this chaos in my life that is going to pass away, this too shall pass. <laughs> no weapon that may form shall not prosper. But um, I just, you know, love to see the youth, 
the young people prosper because at the end of the day, since I am in my 50s, I would rather see you doing well because if I were to become frail or need assistance and you're walk in and, and the young people are walking around with dignity knowing that they too one day will become older or even in their mid age they could become frail and need some assistance and it may be someone who is older that may be assisting them so it works both ways it is like you know i i pray to god that i always have my uh health uh, and be independent so I won't be a burden on anyone. But I know, you know, sometimes we will become ill, but I do not want to become a burden to anyone. But if I do, I want to make sure that I'm with the right partner who is willing to go through that event and uh, vice versa you know if they became ill then I will be there for them Uh, but I pray you know for myself as well as my expected partner to be healthy so that we can enjoy life to the fullest until the Most High calls us back unto himself or back to source. Um, So I just wanted to share that. That was just, you know, on my heart because it's so much going on, so much ugliness. People just, I don't know, their hearts are not right. And like I told you before, I'm more about love and peace. But I know that in order for there to be balance, there is good and evil. Um, so I have to be balanced in within myself. And I also ask, you know, the Most High, please uh, make sure my countenance is in the right place because I remember the parable or the story about how Cain um, killed Abel. Yeah, I think that's how we can kill Abel. Um, Out of jealousy, you know, and we have to be careful. And I also pray about jealousy. I say, most high, I know that we all have some jealousy in us, but I do not want that sick, uh, that uh, felony jealousy that could end up either getting me hurt or me hurting someone or me put in jail or prison. So, again, that goes with that countenance. Make sure your countenance is in a right place, that emotional intelligence to know, okay, well, this is making me upset, so either I can walk away or... um, if I need to remove myself from the area for just a little bit to calm down, then do so. Take that time to do so. That's for everybody, but especially you young people because you're typically hot-headed. Like I said, we the older people have been there, so we know we're a little bit hot-headed when we're younger. So try to walk away from it so that you will not do anything foolish that will put uh, detriment on your um, growth in your future as a young man or a young woman. So um, anyway, I'm just anticipating my new life outside of the hardships that was um, impeded upon me. I'm not quite sure of how I ended up in a family such as the one that I grew up in, but I'm sure that I will find that out. And um, 
I I forgive them. I forgive all my um, enemies. I really do. I, I and I I really do. Kind of feel sorry for you because I see some things. I see some horrible things that you know is going to come upon the earth, and so you know to be in a horrible position and to have those things that are going to come and you're not ready for it, that's even worse. So um, anyway, I forgive you all yet and still. Please respect my boundaries and stop doing what you have done or are doing. And just leave it alone because trust you me, the most high is in my life, around my life, and flowing through my life. My ancestors the same. So whatever I may be naive about at the time that you're actually (laughs) maybe doing something, they are not. So, and they will let me know when I need to know it. Obviously, because like I said, I didn't know that my family hated me until I was in my 50s. And that is due to some uh, manipulation of the mind at an early age due to what we call dark magic. So I will say to the young people, Magic can be beautiful, but when you get into the dark magic, wanting to manipulate, steal, kill, and destroy another person, I will think about it because when it comes back to you, it is going to come back to you with a vengeance. And you're not going to like it. So I would just advise, don't. If you're going to be magical, be magical and cultivate. Okay, cultivate the earth. Father God, I pray that you would just bless my garden to grow whatever vegetables or if you like flowers, to grow my flowers because people sell flowers for different reasons uh, or fruits to eat. They're, They're always good, always in season. So, you know, cultivate, use your magic for that. Pray over that make uh, things happen on the earth that you can profit from and maybe somebody else can also utilize that brings you profit, right? I mean, I don't understand why, you know, these people chose to use their magic for such a thing as that, but it is what it is. Like I said earlier in a post, I am here And my particular enemies or foes, they are here. And we were meant to cross each other's path. And I was either going to fold and uh, fall into their trap and be among them. Or I was going to run away from them and remain in the good graces of the Most High. And I choose the Most High because, like I, like we know, we have seen the wrath of God, whether it be through Mother Nature or a loved one being hurt, harmed, or unalived. Um, so I, I, and I've been chastised by the most high and so have you if you stop and think about everything that has gone on in your life whether it be if you fell off your bike (laughs) he that was some type of warning you didn't get hit by a car and get bread rummed okay so i just choose to walk in the light and be the salt of the earth i don't choose to be on the dark side because no I, I I don't choose that what pathway, but to each his own. You will learn your way as you go. But I would definitely say this: um, ask the Most High to fill you with the Holy Spirit, that you may have wisdom and discernment to go about your day. 
Um, that is, if you want to walk in the light and be the salt of the earth. Otherwise, you will do things a little bit different and you will probably have a little bit different outcome. And either way it goes, light and dark, they do have some uh, amenities that they do obtain. But um, as I know it, the ones who's on the dark side, they tend to lose it or some type of tragedy happens. Um, and like we all know, we're all going to go back to the dust, but I, again, I just choose to be the light and salt of the earth. That's my choice. And as we know it, the most high gives us our own free will. So choose whom you will serve. And that goes back to saying in the first part of my saying, your temple is the only one that you're going to get in this lifetime. Yes, they have prosthetics, but at the end of the day, your brain, your heart, um, your vital organs that you need, you need to love on them at all time and even speak to them, speak life to them, tell them you love them, all of your body really, um, because you're speaking life to it. Isn't that what uh, the most I did? He said, let there be light. Let there be, let the waters remain in that section of the earth, right? So speak life to your body um, so that whatever may be trying to attack it may heal. Um, and see that, and there are some brilliant people who do know magic, but when you use it for evil, that's not cool. But like I say, it, it's a balance, balancing thing. Um, good and evil. So again, choose to whom you may serve and how you're going to serve it. Okay, everyone, everyone have a beautiful rest of your night. I intend to, I've been, uh, you know, looking out of my car at the moon still shining down on me. It's amazing how the Most High uh, has the moon to uh, shine on me. It'd be in front of me. It's in front of me right now. But uh, last night when I woke up about uh, about midnight-ish, I looked and it was behind me, behind the car shining down on me. I, I think the Most High is just amazing. He he allows that moon to just radiate down upon wherever I am. And I think that's just so amazing. It's kind of like uh, when they say the three wise men were walking in um, the story about Yahshua as a baby and the bright and morning star following them leading them on the way it's kind of like that the moon follows me and the sun too it's amazing so anyway I love you most high I love you ancestors I love you Yahshua and I love all of you so everyone have a beautiful night I intend to and um, I just say to the others who like to project evil my way, I would advise not doing that, okay? Um, and I thank the Most High that it will not come nigh me. It will turn around and return it back to you, period. I'm not speaking ill over you, however I will return anything that I feel that you are sending me I will return it back to you I don't want it and I reject it and I banish you from my energy like I said I do forgive you although you have not openly and asked me to but I forgive you and um, I just want to move on I want I am going to be I am released from your grip you do not have power over me. I don't give that to you. So, therefore, 
I pray that you would get your heart and mind together and, um, you know, leave me alone because it's not going to work well for you. If you choose to stay on the dark side, you're not going to fare well over here because God is peeling back everything that you do and everything that you have done as you can see that hopefully now okay so again everyone have a beautiful uh rest of your evening and may love and yeshua be exalted to the earth and peace with everyone